Let's take a look at something that should really be of great concern to all of us. Why does the media generally ignore the role of climate change in extreme weather and environmental disasters? We're seeing more extreme weather storms, floods, wildfires, heat waves, droughts, and the shocking degradation of our natural and human environment than ever before. This in turn leads to the troubled and often painful migration of people from their ancestral homelands. But you might also have noticed that the media that reports these phenomena doesn't always connect them with climate change, leaving the full story untold. Rising global temperatures change the water cycle. This means heavier rainfall leading to more severe floods. Think about the huge floods in the US, Europe, and Asia over recent years. Higher temperatures dry out forests and grasslands, creating the conditions for deadly wildfires like the ones that recently scorched Hawaii, Australia, and California. And the heat waves, they're becoming more frequent and intense, posing serious risks for people everywhere. And let's not forget hurricanes, typhoons, and tornadoes, which are so dramatic, frightening, and destructive, and which the media dutifully reports to us nearly every day. We know that warmer temperatures make these storms stronger and that much more destructive. So why doesn't the media highlight the connection with climate change? They might say it's all very complicated from a journalistic point of view, and that it's hard to attribute a single event directly to climate change. These excuses are not valid and they are not in the public interest. News directors might not fully understand the science. This failure diminishes what should be an ongoing examination of increasing public urgency. Government organizations and businesses are not paying sufficient attention. We know they've got other economic, political, and geopolitical priorities, including wars and conflicts all over the planet. But that's no excuse either. The scale of the action that we will need to take is truly daunting. It will challenge every aspect of the status quo and will therefore make any significant progress difficult. Unless the media fully educates and mobilizes the public about the science and the solutions, it is obvious that the accelerating impacts of climate change will get much worse. We need to reprioritize. This is the biggest news story of all and the most existential threat of all. We need to increase global awareness if we are to save the planet. The media has the power to shape public opinion and public policy. So let's start holding them accountable for their failure to make this connection. They must do more than just report dramatic weather events. They must regularly report on the larger picture and the policy imperatives so that we can reevaluate our priorities. A certain number of environmental activists are speaking out, but that's simply not enough. These activists need continuing support and participation from every single one of us. We all know the problem, and we know it cannot be ignored. The alternative is the devastation of our world and the world of our children. Tell them, tell everyone, or we'll all find out the hard way.